Live weather. Lots of heat today packing into the region once again. 96 degrees right now in Idaho Falls and it's sunny throughout the valleys, but do have some of those rain showers tricking through some of the more mountainous regions out in western Wyoming and around the Continental Divide with some of it heading into West Yellowstone. Do have a slight breeze at 10 miles per hour. The wind's been overall calm today. They're going to start getting a little more windy heading into tomorrow. Viper radar shows got some of these rain showers right now trekking across the uh, Continental Divide right now. We've got rain shower just moved just to the north of Dubois out towards China Point. That's continuing to move east into Highland Park right now. And you see some of these rain showers looking to enter into West Yellowstone in the next couple of minutes. Out towards the south, we've got a little more strayer showers out just to the east of Pocatello right now. Just a little tiny rain shower out in the Highland just to the east of the Seneca River Plain. Elsewhere, I do have one rain shower looking toward, uh, looking to move just slightly east over I-86 and move slightly north too to keep on the highway maybe as well. But overall, stray showers look to be the theme heading into the rest of the afternoon into late evening hours because most of these showers have been sparked up by the daytime heating and the, this moisture has been brought in by this high pressure system just off to the east and south in Colorado. It's been there throughout the entire past week. And you see most of these showers out to our south. That's that monsoonal flow coming from the southwest, bringing uh, a lot of that moisture straight into eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. And unfortunately, just like how that high has stayed there for the past week, it's going to look to stay there for the next couple of days. The only change that we do see is to look at this trough just off to our west. This is going to move eastward heading into the work week. And if you look on the west side of this, we do, we'll get a little bit of a slight northerly wind heading into the region, heading into the work week, which will slightly cool things down. Keyword though is slightly. It's not going to do it by much. Let's look at the Vipercast. Today, most of the rain showers have been in the mountains. Tomorrow, we could see more of these rain showers heading into the Snake River playing with a possible thunderstorm or two. So tomorrow morning, looking to be great and nice outside. It's going to be during the afternoon hours when most of these rain showers and thunderstorms spark up, like on Monday. Monday morning looking to be clear, but we're looking at some rain showers heading into the Magic Valley during the afternoon on Monday and maybe even heading into Tuesday, although chances are a little more slighter heading into the work week than the weekend. So highs tomorrow, about the same as we had have or have had them today heading into the mid to upper 90s so when I pick that reminder up for you tomorrow to bring out the sunscreen wherever you're going especially in western Wyoming where burn time could be as low as 10 minutes without wearing any sunscreen 92 in Afton tomorrow 92 also in Lava Hot Springs 98 in Preston eyes similar tomorrow to that of today. 94 tomorrow in Swan Valley, 94 also in Rexburg, 90 tomorrow in West Yellowstone, 95 in Chalice, almost triple digits for Salmon and Pocatello tomorrow and also American Falls. Meanwhile, Snake River Plains, we get those highs in the mid 90s there. In Blackfoot, eight day forecast, got that slight 20% chance of a rain shower tomorrow. Then we'll start to clear things up heading into the work week. The high of 92 on Monday and Tuesday. In Rexburg, 94 degrees, down to 89 for Tuesday. That's when we clear things up on the rain showers. Although, again, only a 10% rain chance for Sunday and Monday. Salmon, 30% chance of a rain shower tomorrow, 99 degrees tomorrow. We're down to 89 for Monday. Maybe it's a little more cool off there heading into Monday with a high of 89. In Jackson, 20% chance of rain over the next two days, 92 tomorrow. We're down to the mid 80s and upper 80s heading into the work week with isolated rain chances Thursday and Friday next week. In Pocatello, 20% chance of a rain shower tomorrow with a high of 99 degrees. Idaho Falls, 96 degrees. Again, just getting that slight rain shower. If it does happen, look for it to happen tomorrow afternoon only. Then we get the highs down to around 90 on Monday and Tuesday. So 96 to 90. It's, it's a little cold front. It's at least something. So I know we'll probably call it a baby cold front because that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> But a little blow. A little blow. It's a little <laughs> blow. At least with some of the windy conditions over the next few days, it will get us a nice a cooler breeze at least a little bit. Which will be really nice yes. and needed. <laughs> All mm -hmm. right. Well, thanks, Evan. Coming up.